It's made out of people. Oh, most definitely. Kim! Kim, it's made out of people! It's made out of people! I don't think Kim cares. Probably not. Alright, well, anyway, well, hi. Hi, everybody. The belly of this boat shines like it was recently painted. Sick. Well, this, we're back. We're back in Disco Elysium. Hello. What up? Rue de St. Ghislaine, roundabout north. Okay, last time we left off. It's been about a week since we played last. I don't quite remember. Uh, However, we checked I out the know... notebook. We know our actual name. Yes, we are named Harry. That's our first name. Yep. We don't know who put the clothes in the trash. Okay, we found those. Union box. Secret pet. There was the secret pet. There was the blue door behind the kitchen door. That we finally opened after yes. like three attempts. We need to buy phone no. pants from Kuno. Don't that know what that'll get us, but I think that was insanely expensive. It was like 500 bucks or something. Yeah. Craziness. We need like 100 just to have a place to sleep. <laughs> Priorities. Yeah. Well, I think the 100 for, for that is to like pay for damages to the room, maybe? What's this? A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. Okay. It's locked. Uh, so it looks like a sturdy metal the door. door. Rattles <laughs> against your knuckles. But there's no response. The door rattles again, but this time you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. What do you think? Police angle first? Are we very authoritative? No. All kind right. of. We're kind of authoritative. We're a little bit authoritative. We have She's no old. empathy, though. All right, fine. Dunk it. Boom. <laughs> Everyone knows the police don't come around here. No, but I'm not joking! I already told you, I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Any more? Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Backyard door? There must be another entrance to the east. <laughs> Kim, hmm. tell her we're real policemen! <laughs> Kim, tell her! Madame, I assure you... <laughs> We are oh, hi, George. police officers. There is no reply. Ah, fucker. Whatever. Whatever. We gotta go around back. I'm looking at stuff. It's so cool out here. Looks like there was more construction here one once decades ago. Is there anything cool down here though? Is that there anything? Boat? What is this? Magnesium. I'll take it. I don't think we need this flashlight in our hands right now. What does this give us? Minus two authority, but it does give us one empathy. We kind of need And to... Inland Empire. Yeah, we equipped that yeah. so we could focus on what we're good at. Yeah. What's this say? Dying Reserve for residents of Rue de saint Guilaine, 33A. Who's that guy? Your room in the Whirling isn't much bigger than this sloop. This is worth more than you'll ever earn in your life. <laughs> That's an expensive boat. That's why it's painted white. Is that TNT? <laughs> At the bottom? A striking woman leans Who's against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Fancy. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. I bet you are. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. We know what the RCM is. Yeah. We're the police. What gave us away? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. <laughs> Relax. She meant it in jest. Mm -hmm. Uh, shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. I'm going to play this nice and straight. Like steel. There is strength there. Mm -hmm. If she wanted, she could sink her nails deep into your skin. So we got a lady who knows her shit. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Hmm. Sick! That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical... That's medicine. putting it lightly, Kim, but thank you. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. I'll try to live up to your expectations, Kim. Thank you for having faith in me. It happens quicker than a shooting star. But did the lieutenant just <laughs> wink at you? Bing! <laughs> How interesting. 
I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pine group. <laughs> You're on a boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people are on boats here. Does she have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is. How do you like the it? Sloop? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. Ooh! <laughs> I'm enjoying Funky. this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a handle on the boat thing. All right, Kim, sorry. I'm sorry. Let's talk more about the boat. <laughs> what about wild pines? What do you do? What we do. I'm sorry, we. I don't speak for wild pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. Hmm. So what, what do they, they do? Core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, okay. that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. All right. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration. Offshore platforms. The Wild Pines Group is one of the original Revisholian Indo-Tribes. Companies awarded royal monopolies by the king, the suzerain himself, centuries ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. You're in good company, it seems. Why, thank you. How <laughs> much money does the Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company <laughs> balance sheet, but I can tell you that last oh. year the company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. Owen Wilson. Wow. 20 billion is a large number. But the conglomerate employs 72,000 people. Amazon! They all need to be paid. Then there are capital improvements. Fucking interest damn. Payments. So we're going to destroy them then. A conglomerate the size of the wild pines is like a shark. If it stops moving, it will die. Then what becomes of those 72,000 families? It's a tremendous responsibility. So where does the wild pines get all these billions? Probably in shipping. As an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Isolas 250 years ago, when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantanga on behalf of the suzerain. Bro, we're getting some sick lore. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to reemerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. What does such a huge system want with a place like this? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners, who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo? 8% of the world's cargo. Mm, so you playing it logistically or pandering to the strikers? You don't keep it working, the workers do. Which is fair. The company is nothing without them. That is a fair thing, but we only... I mean, we only have the point of view of this one place. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea what kind of fight we would be in because we have no clue. Then talk about something else. Well, I mean, that's... Okay. I'm going to go with this one there just to no see. There are minor cogs in the system. Hmm. Each terminal must be accounted for, lest the entire system break. Every hiccup in such a system means thousands lose their jobs <laughs> the world over. I just I'm read the second sure to the last one. Happen. You seem rich. Can I have some money? <laughs> uh, Tell me about the strike. I need to know more about that. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Huh? Trade secrets? My ears perk. First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. Mm -hmm. It's quite the octopus. Hmm. The octopus that straddles Revachon. The Emergencies Act is the cornerstone of post-war Revachon. Inseparable from the world it created. <sighs> Wouldn't want to disturb an octopus. Yeah, better let it I'm be. I'm glad you see it that way. To repeal the act would mean repealing the coalition government, the one that leases you the right to police West Revachol. Fair. Mm -hmm. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. Thank you, Logic. But I am derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. What is your role in this, precisely? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. Uh, in practice, 
I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago <sighs> after that God. awful lynching took place. Not a good place to stop talking, huh? Wait. She just admitted that the lynching and the strike are connected. Mm-hmm. Thank you, reaction speed, because I almost didn't catch that. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. So the strike is connected to the lynching. Yes, I believe there is a connection, but that's a subject for later. Okay, well, tell me about the behemoth at least. What can I say? The union employs a giant covered in tattoos. A racist giant. I guess that's <laughs> part of their big tent organization now. Big Pharma. So how were the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. That's unfortunate. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Hmm. Yes, okay. in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. So you're the second person. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical... They didn't have that previously? This time their demands That's are fucked. I guess you could say aggressive. Ludicrous even. It's meant. What happened to Goma? Mr. Clare told him to... How did he put it? Fuck off, midget. <laughs> Gomont is short of stature, you see. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. All right, so what are their demands currently? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Oh, yes. Every worker, a member of the board. That's stupid. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. I don't know what to think about it. Over because of Kami posturing. <laughs> Seems like they have no idea about business. That, I, yes. In its defense, another said, demand democracy. Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. Didn't I just say that? Most of them probably don't know what that means. Seems like they have no idea what business, or about business. Oh, yes. But not that they don't know what it means. What does that even mean? It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what, about anything really, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Yeah. That's insane! Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals. Making the 72,000. Essentially, yeah. not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines group. The king is dead! <laughs> The workers can't be kings. Oh wait, no, 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 wait. Nah. Yeah, workers can't be kings. That king may is well king. Be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. So what are you gonna do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> <laughs> and now, people are getting lynched everywhere. Out here. Everywhere. Behind the whirling in rags. Welcome to it's real a life. Situation, if there ever was one. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? Thank you, Kim. I first heard it from the boyer at the gates, the one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was. Call me manana. Mm. Was that the Frank Zappa guy? I think so. He's... That may be him. This checks out. Scabs at the gate. Did you put him there? The scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the union refuses to? Don't let her answer it herself. Strike breakers?
I'm gonna yeah, this one. You're right. I don't know what got into me. Some of the degenerate dock worker lingo is rubbed off. It seems. Yes. <laughs> if the workers were organized by Wild Pines, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not yet, at least. It's implied. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Sick. Tell me about Mr. Clare. Everard Clare is a man of Everard. utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Of course not. Everard <laughs> is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Damn. If you were to prick it with something sharp, you could see it oozing out. A knife, maybe? No. A rapier. Your brain's telling you to kill him. <laughs> you sound like you're about to take a rapier to him. Oh, heavens no. We get along just fine. Yet, now that you mention it, I can't stop imagining that black treacle just dribbling down his double chin. Is he that bad? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen. Oh, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Wait, there's two of them. Yes, Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. That's a really bad cycle. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Jeez. Well, what about the union itself, outside of the brothers? The Daybarders Union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Fuck. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs union is... Oof. This is a tough one. Either it's not an effective advocate. <clears throat> That's pretty fucking harsh. Giant leech sucking the life of Redfishol. Basically, a socialist mob. Which is I prefer not true. to have an opinion on these things because I'm not Three part of this. I'm not a part of this directly, so do the girl. Route. Yeah, I pre I prefer not to have an opinion. Of course, officer. Yeah. Hey, one more thing. You said something happened in the election. I'm glad you asked. There was a woman. The previous forewoman of the Union. She disappeared. Mm hmm. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter it's saucy. Him, said she wasn't running anymore or coming to work. Ever. End of story. That's weird. This forewoman, her name? Sadly, the company records do not even give a name. She's just forewoman. What? In private correspondence, Holly. I don't even know if it's a sir or given name, and I don't have access to the union's files. Eerie. Downright haunting, if you ask me. The Wild Pines suspected foul play, but what could they do? It was a union matter. Like a cult. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. Cool. That's all I need here. Of course. How Let's talk about the lynching. The lynching. Quite a few things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share Ooh. with you includes sensitive trade secrets. Ooh. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Mm. Ooh. E we know our badge number. Do we? And we know our name. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Uh, we're seven. like Sergeant Harry. And this is Harry something something something. Forty-one. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. Why is that, Detective? Remember when my partner told you I recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? Well, my lost badge is kind of related to that. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? 
Possible after a night of heavy drinking? No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything in this world, this city, nothing. E uh, yes. I can't hear you, darling. Speak up, please. Shit. Well, which one do you want to admit to, like, heavy drinking, or just say the, the, could have eaten it for all I know? Uh. Don't remember anything. Uh, play it safe, number two. Yeah. Oh, dear. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. Damn, that's a word. I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> I like this lady. I She's smart. Naive as that <laughs> she knows the big words. I simply can't imagine what you gain by faking such a condition. Thank you. I appreciate that. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize. But I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more Damn until it. I've seen that badge. Gotcha. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. That's so low that I'm not going to risk it because it's red. Mm -hmm. E! I could risk it. It's a one in four. It's a one in four. It's a one in four. Damn it! We'll guide the way. All right. But, madam, I need to know about this lynching. It's very important. I assure you, it is no small matter for me either. We all share the responsibility for disarming this situation. I hope you have a badge for me as soon as possible. <laughs> you have so much else. I only have this. This is my entire existence. <laughs> <laughs> Just be way too straightforward. Uh, this is my main... Okay, I'm going to go with this one. It's not a side case. This is my main thing. Trust me, officer. I am fully committed to resolving this impasse. But this isn't some side but, gig for me. But but this is all I have. She's silent. The wind flaps the sail above her. This boat and a home. All I have is this case. <laughs> officer. I'm alive. My morale. It's okay. Oh God. Uh. I don't remember anything except the lynching. There's only the coast in this lynching. Ah, uh, this case is what I will be known by. I don't remember anything except for this lynching. You know, I don't mean to sound cold, but if you want something, you have to give something back. More than just guilt. Fair. You're doing it. Despite your own best efforts, you're still getting it. Somehow. I'll be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something tangible. Like what? The Union is conducting drug trade out Ooh. of the harbor. It's an open secret in Martinez. Surely it must not come as a complete surprise to the RCM either. Not at either. all. Perhaps it's time to look into it. I like your thinking, Joyce. Or you can find your badge, which honestly seems like a lost cause. That's it. I'm Googling where the badge is. <laughs> <laughs> the word no, I'm not really doing it. Excuse me, ma'am. So we could either bust the drug route, <sighs> or, uh... Hmm. How'd you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and, you know, not volunteers to be her henchmen. I thought it was going so well. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. No, about or that. she's simply an adept improviser. Mm. In no way, we've played straight into her hands. Damn. Maybe this is all her plan. She might have heard about you. Company have more ears on the ground. She could have known about my condition. I don't think so. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if this has anything to do with her. However, the gardener lady, we were told like last episode or the episode before, that she has eyes on like an entire area. So if she, uh, if the gardener and Joyce... right underneath the fuck cops. Yes. Sign. And if we've been here for like three days now, everyone knows we're a cop. No one likes the fact that we're cops. So they're probably more likely helping her out than trying to do anything for us. Maybe. Hmm. That's my input about it. Yeah, she could have known about my condition. No. Uh, what do you propose? Don't you? Bleh. We could investigate the drug traffic. We could find the badge. Find the badge. Oh, there we are. Oh, that would be fantastic. But do we have the time? The world is large, and your badge is eight by six centimeters. 
That's fair. If you put it like that, Kim, you're making it seem way harder than it actually is, which is also very hard. But you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> so you're telling Time me there's a chance. Time is of the essence. You could request a new one from the station. Oh, that would God. literally take months. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go back to her then. Let's go back. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Italy. It's Italy fucking raw! With the Union's mm -hmm. blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, man? Cocaine! Meth and dextro oh, close. GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to Revishol through the terminal. Yes. After they clear the terminal... We lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Okay. Hmm. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? To the kids. We're in logistics. For it's Black Dynamite! To know. I sell drugs and to the community! <laughs> as far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients... For a cut. Interesting. Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everart and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. So we gotta find the rat. The handoff. The motor lies huh? at the roundabout. Ah, am I gonna need mm -hmm. bolt cutters for this? Unlikely officer. I'm talking about the lorries. Once the ingredients reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers. Well beyond our grasp, but in transit they may be vulnerable. How convenient that they're stranded like beached whales at that roundabout. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. The guy that we met in episode one? Oh damn. The cool the guy? Yeah. Like the river Esperance in bright daylight. Upstream, where it's clearer. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Just lay it on me, lady. Hell yeah. I think we already found him. Secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded there like that, is it? No. Ha! We asked East Motor Track it's to raise purpose. the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However... This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. Translation, we have to do this today. Yeah. And we have like four hours Indians until bedtime. Ah, we fine. Till bedtime. Till night night. Rest. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open the drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in, on my motor carriage. Ah. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? We did, on more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Interesting. Well, here's your chance, officers. Okay. What proof do you have that the Union's involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Four months? Fuck. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Okay, so you, th you think the strike is being funded yep. with the source ingredients for the drugs. Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely, then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver. You don't need to tell her about that. 
We already have some someone suspicious. Yeah. You don't need good. to know. Okay, I've made up my mind about the smuggling. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Except. Excellent. The jam mystery. To my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully, one of them will know something. We talked to two. Mm -hmm. We talked to racist asshole. We talked to cool guy. We, come to nothing, or it may we need to find the third. Case wide open. Unless we already talked to him. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. A few days. Oh, okay, okay, we're good. We're, we're gonna have to rush it like super horribly. But yeah. All right. Thank you. That's all for now. Take care. Hell yeah. Okay. That was a lot of information that we just got. Oh yeah. Real quickly. I'm gonna internalize this. So I did figure out, figure out what these are for. They do give us um, stat bonuses when they're done, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Joyce's info about the light, so that we have to do later. We have to find our badge. Okay. The jam mystery. Let's do it. Might take a little while to get there, but we're gonna get there. Ah! I pushed a button. Ooh, what's this? More garbage. But there might be stuff in it. Oh, I can't break it open? Dang. Maybe if you had the bolt cutters in your hand. Mm -hmm. Oh! Let's try it. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Stop! Okay. You might be right. You were... Yo! Naval coat. <laughs> What's our coat do? That's yeah. cool. Uh, esprit de corps, which is for police interaction. Hmm. Whereas this has suggestion and half light. I'm not sure what half light is. Minus one to half light. Let the body take control, threaten people. I'm fine with that. Having yeah, a minus one. We're talky. Not yeah. threatening. Yeah. Yeah, we're more talky. Ooh, there's a thing back here. Can I get through here? Thank you. So what is this? Five cents! And magnesium. And that's there's the, the body. Oh. That's this is behind the thing. Oh, Cool. Yo! Things have changed, my friend. Things have changed. Did not know we were here. Garden hose. Balcony with a view of the yard and the hang... Ooh. Oh! There's somebody up there. I need to get up there somehow. Maybe through the door? Hey, Maybe through the door. There? Chairs and tables eaten by rain and rot. Another splattering of bullet holes. Hmm. There's a way down here. Ooh, what's this? A bum hat! Minus one to rhetoric, but plus. But reaction speed has increased. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, my reaction speed is still plus one. Oh, I had a plus one. Okay, where's my rhetoric? Oh, minus one. Where's my rhetoric? Like here. Oh, it's still four. All right, we gouda. I like the hat. <coughs> I look beautiful. Bear is a half full of Officer rainwater. Officer Hobo. Officer Hobo. So I can't do anything with... Uh... <laughs> oh, Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. Smoker up there could be a witness. Talk to him. There's another person thing right here. That's a I... coat. Is it? Oh my god. I can't get up to it, though. Let's try to talk to this guy over here. We're taking a mild detour, but, I mean, pretty solid. Ah. Oh. There's another way around. Ah, we'll find it. It's down here, though. It looks like you could get that jacket Can't do nothing. if you go through the little, like, hidey hole. Night City or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, this might be the ladder up. Yep, it yep. totally is. Ooh. Greenhouse. I tried going in here, but there's nothing to click on. No? Nah? Yeah. I can highlight stuff around it, but that's not highlighted. Weak. Maybe that was just to give me a little bit of, like, just talking information or something. I'm not sure. What is this anyway? This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. It's impossible to conceptualize. Or will I? You Damn. have no clue. It's just a wall. Yeah, that's fair. Respect. I can't tell at so all what that's supposed to be. All over Martinez, weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. Thanks, Shivers. I might be able to come back to this if I increase my my skill, though. That's true. My skills. 
My cool guy skills. This is a cool place. This is a cool setting for this whole game. I dig it. What's this say? The ad reads, broken window? Tibbs has windows. Thanks, Tibbs. Good old Tibbs. Good old Mr. Tibbs. This coin operator viewer has been banged up, inoperable. How dare they? Who are you? Who are both of you? Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. <laughs> I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly <laughs> men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. Love it. All right, I got this. Ball time. That's the spirit. <laughs> Don't even waste your breath <gasps> asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. Hell Do yeah. It. Grab the ball and show them how it's done. I swear to God, if I failed that, I would have screamed. Did we just die again? No. Oh, okay. If I failed, though, <laughs> I would have been so sad. What's happening? You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. You'll make it work. Feel the ball. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it. Probably a sponsor ball. Yours would only be covered. Oh, shot putting? Learning and it might be. Victory. Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight. The nervous system calibrated until you and the ball have merged mm -hmm. into a single entity. The man ball. The man ball is ready. Taking my surroundings. The chilly breeze ruffles your hair oh. as you stand there. Firmly planted. All sounds, smells, even Last the glance inward, who are you? Until the only thing <laughs> is the union of man and ball. Yes. Are we going to become ball man? An embodiment of pure motion. Pure a motion. locomotor running at maximum efficiency. The inertia can be contained no more than a bullet leaving a gun. Let go! I am the bullet! <laughs> Wah! Hell yeah. That's beautiful. How do we get the ball back, though? Ball day the mouth. <laughs> a whole house of shit. <laughs> That's it great. It wasn't whole house of shit. The shot was at least twenty-three meters. Hell yeah. Probably twenty-four, and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Thank you, visual calculus. I also thought it was a good shot. What the hell is your problem? Fuck you. Not a weak, not a weak right triceps, that's for sure. I don't care if you are a cop. You do not just ruin someone's game. It's so goddamn disrespectful. Wait, what? You vandalized our game, son. We can't play petonk with five bull. Oh, petonk! No. I understand. No, you don't. Our petonk game is ruined. We want our bull back. Take it easy, Rene. This is just a misunderstanding. Isn't it, officer? No harm done. Yeah, no harm. I thought it was shot, but I'm so sorry. You oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. I mean, I don't have a bull, but I I do have a shot put ball. Will this? No, it will goddamn not. Why not? Thank you, officer. This is really something. Honestly, I think it's better than our old bull, even. Ah, mon dieu. All right, all right, fine. What do you want? <laughs> that that just happened to work. I didn't even remember that we picked up a shot put. At some point, we picked up a ball. I think we were going to sell it. Fair. <laughs> so that worked very well. Yes. Why did you come here? It's unlikely they know anything about the murder. Untrue rhetoric. You never know. He yeah. might know something. Hell yeah, Thank you, Logic. logic. Coming in clutch. Do you know anything about the man hanging in the back of the whirling in rags? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, 
I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. Yes! But this affair has passed me by completely. Thank you, Rene. You're such a cool guy. And what, what about the, the locals and stuff? In Martinez. The union is the law. So can you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with cops? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. Cool. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. So again, you don't understand anything? Or do you really want to get into political jargon with this guy? Eh. What's he got to say? I'm confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. Ha ha! He's sexist. So that's yeah, where we sit. Old school. Uh, I try to avoid voicing my opinion. Conversation managers just drop it. Not Why'd to mention the station tidy. Even the men fed and happy. I'll play into it. No man can afford to turn his eyes to the horizon if his rear isn't secured. If we play into it, we might get some good info for no reason. Pandering? Okay. Great minds think alike, Renee. You and I seem to really figured all this out. The RCM doesn't discriminate. Damn it. Women are held to the same standards as men. And as reflected in the quarterly statistics, are equally effective in their jobs. Bummer. Like men, they also have to deal with the very same mentality you two are displaying right now. If it weren't for this, they would outperform. I'm glad at least some people keep a level head in these turbulent times. <laughs> you seem to be playing in a crater. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Was there an earthquake here? Uh, no. It was left by heavy artillery fire. But Damn. Why? But why though? Why what? <laughs> why why heavy artillery? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. <sighs> Who are the communards? Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Did you use artillery fire against them? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda. God damn. And mad anarchist <laughs> women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We suicide so. bombers and shit. We left mm -hmm. Caliber. God bless him, but the Suzerain's cannons simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Oh boy, why shell them here in Martinez? They should have chosen a place away from people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the shit on that dude's hometown oh, went no. over. Why shell them here in Martinez? This is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. A beachhead? Yes. Mm -hmm. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take Like that old Revisher. school game. Now yes, the arcade game. The in Revisher, <laughs> Do that after Gauntlet. The, <laughs> the other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Death blow. <sighs> Sounds grim. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we plagued Betonk on their mangled corpses. Fuck. Blood ground. You got old Rene going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Well. Is that why everything is so bombed out? Damn right, son. <laughs> they left the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. Damn, Damn son. Uh... <laughs> Granddad. <laughs> the rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, so he hates the Union. You, damn fall. you, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players at the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding them. What do you think? Thinking men have a 
opinions on these things. Present one. Hmm. That's how it should be. Soft socialists paving the way for hard-working class to take over. Foreign powers cleaned up our mess, and now they rule us. Shake head in shame. <laughs> uh, Coalition seems to be quite capable. Commies just don't understand how money works. Nothing. I don't think. I just do. Fuck. What do you think? One through five. Three? Boom. They're not. And I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Fuisel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This guy's pining for old times. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. But this is just what the commies wanted. This was the plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. I think I'm good with talking to this guy, so... Mm -hmm. What is what exactly is a suzerain? The suzerain is a king. Has everyone forgotten already? They forgotten already. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. Antique firearm. Still in daddy's balls. Antique firearm. The cavalry straight. Numero uno. Definitely will. It's a Bell McGrave. 4.46 caliber. Breech loading. Revachal made. Good weapon, accurate, and reliable. His moves are quick and precise as he first checks the weapon, then aims it at the sea. This man knows... Maybe he... Intimately. ...knows of all of those guns that were sitting mm -hmm. around? Inoperable. The bolt spring is missing, and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty. Where did you find her? Oh, the basement over there. I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. As for the rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM-446s are an antique. No one uses them anymore. The ammunition is impossible to find. Oh, I wouldn't. What is it about the old soldier that makes him stand so proud? It's white, so I could do it. Okay. All you observe. Damn is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and his old uniform. This is not uncommon. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabineers in service of Fissel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the Le Lion. King Philip V before him. Don't you mean Fissel the Fan? You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. But he was our clown, ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something he missed. You will get to it. Don't worry. Hmm. Felipe? What about the uh, statue of Philip III near the roundabout? Ah, yes. King Philip III on his steed. A reminder of what Revachal once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine-snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. A superpower, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. How should a king rule? Yeah. Decisively, without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded among his subjects. This is something the insurgents never understood. Powerful leaders? Seems to me like a leader should take care of his people before himself. And Lesion is only as strong as its leader. That's why it was such madness to try to... Don't get started on that again. What happened, happened. The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. We already knew about the cocaine right. stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you for your time. Can I talk to you, just you? I have really outdone myself. This is divine. It's a good-ass sandwich. What you got on there? Peanut butter? Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. It's more, it's more cushion for the pushing, you know? 
Honey, tsk, tsk. it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a... Um, Mumjam, Mumjam. Struggle. struggle through gaming? Hello, mm. officer. Name How drop. Title card. Of this fine day? <laughs> it looks delicious. Can I have a bite of that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Tell me, do what do you it. know about the dead man? Let me think. I might do it at the end. We have no shame. None. Okay, maybe a little bit of shame. We didn't ask the rich woman for money. Really? You know absolutely nothing. No, officials. I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are both good guys. I can see that. Can you assist some good guys in a bite of a sandwich? Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. He means caviar socialists. I wish I could, but I just No jumping don't up here, anything. Jojo. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. Everyone knows and respects that. Odd. He doesn't seem to be lying, but there's something off here. Hmm, I want to lay into Push it. him. Yeah, sounds a bit like you're holding back. I'm not. I'm not even anyone. Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Renee with the hard truths. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Hit that okay, Renee? I'm not anyone impotent in the Union. I just know Evra. Ooh. How do you know Evra? Everyone in Martinez knows the Claire brother. But do you know I them? took this boy's human studies and history in the gymnasium. Ah. What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later when it had already moved on. You don't know history. The old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. There he stands, proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble statue. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Are you a union member? Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties, help with little things. Everhart. Edgar and the older debarders all know me. So you're not an actual member? Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card. But Evrard keeps me on the payroll. Just for the little things. So that's what it was before. Him hiding something. He tries to make it look like he's a big deal in the Union. And now the illusion is disintegrating before your and Rene's eyes huh he doesn't know anything because no one tells him anything he's an outsider of course he's not a member he's not a member of anything i knew that he's a vesavain turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important that's a little harsh Rene. i hate this socialist rabble but even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence never committing to anything Pick a damn side already. So what are these little things you do for Everard? Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written, and I happen to have a way with words, people say. What kind of things do you write down for him? Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez, and how things are, and how they could be. Everard and I have this long talks where... Well, he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. I want so to push this like even further. Socialist? Are you a caviar socialist? I don't even consider myself a regular socialist. Politics is not really something I involve myself in, officer. Huh. How can you write those newspaper pieces if you're not political? Officer. I have a vivid imagination, <laughs> and like I said, I have a way with words. That's enough. No need to sink into politics. He just fluffs it up. Of course. Don't sink into anything. Don't sink into any fight. Only sink into your couch. Bro, you gotta believe in something. 
Freedom people, rubbish all money. I believe everyone has the right to think and do whatever they want. <gasps> You're boring, old man! I'm very adaptable. Come you. God damn. Alright. Thanks for all that. No, thank you. For being consummate professionals. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. Give me a bite of that sandwich. I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. But you're a socialist. Nothing personal <laughs> is just a <laughs> The only one you have. The sandwich looks like a culinary wonder. Well made and abundant in components. The author sure knew their craft. In addition to the obvious slice of ham, a fat one, you notice a brim of a tomato peeking from below. And is that mayonnaise? <laughs> Don't be, Don't a, be dick. a dick. <laughs> it's funny for everyone. Believe me, officer. I <laughs> wish I could help you, but I need this sandwich to keep my blood sugar stable. In my age, you need to pay attention to these things. Please, Fred, let's just share no. it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> a glimmer of respect flashes in Rene's eyes. Yeah. Sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it in a bad way. But the sandwich is mine. I'm not gonna share it. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> when the dissidents come to rape our country, he hides. But try to get a bite of his dear sandwich and he gets claws. We are a special kind of vermin, Gaston. Yeah. Convince him to relinquish the sandwich. A Damn it! <laughs> about his sandwich calls for a principled approach. Time to get political. I'm already tripping. I'm not so sure about this. Too late. That is already fighting the bad fight. God damn it. Make it stick. <laughs> your blood sandwich is a tool for the oppressors designed to keep your proletariat docile. What? Oppressors. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, huh? Let me ask you, comrade, you did you, the commie card. Did you, you make the, the sandwich yourself? Yes, officer. Oh, still the overabundance of sandwich and body is inherently evil. I really don't understand how my sandwich could. I don't really either, but wouldn't you rather eat a sandwich for free? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Free of bourgeois guilt garbage? I would rather just have this one, officer. It's really good. <laughs> Tell this lost comrade what the people's sandwich would be like. Distill the essence of the working man in a sandwich. Oh, uh, fine metal, metal dust. dust for an industrial, um, sleek, efficient, simple. The skepticism emanating from the merry senior could be sensed all the way to the Seminine Isles. He's not imagining it. Envision bread as black as the soil it came from. Melting butter, yellow like the sun shining on the banks of the works in the field. Salt is essential. Can never be too much. Oh, black bread like a silver on top of a salute to coal mines and here has worked. All of these are really weird. Melting butter. I don't hate worker food. Look, officer. Damn you. I like different classic food. Fine dining, not Bye for now. Bags. Yeah, Please I'll have to come back for that. I'm coming back for that, that, that sandwich, Gaston. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm going to munch on that sandwich right in front of you. Tire tracks lead to the roof. What? That's weird. Come away, Kim. What's so this? they jump the bridge. Spirited chirps and clicks of swallows fill the air. I I I have no idea. Or follow the tracks. Maybe I'm gonna it come down. Right yeah. to, uh... I'm coming down. Uh, get out of my way. This seems very strange. That there are tracks right here. There's stairs. I'm gonna come down. I got a little thing. It's blocking my way. Ooh, what is this? Those are fed. A little health. No support. Well, I mean, before we get too deep, because we're we're like at the end of the episode. Before we like jump into some hefty shit that may may or not end up in another thirty minute conversation. Most likely, let's will. call it here. We will come back in the next episode and and get further. We've got a lot of information in this episode. Shh. Tons of talking. This was a lore dump. Yeah, that's yeah. For sure. Definitely the first half hour was just one lady, for Christ's sake. All right, yeah, we'll be back in the next one. Bye. Bye.